What a week it has been. I think it's time you and I had a little chat. Don't you? That's a genuine. alaikum guys. Right. Left. All around. We have been absolutely immersed in celebrity stories. I think this week we have seen the age old Roman saying bread and circuses being embodied by our mainstream media. It's like the political way of saying Chat seats, I finish watching the movie, yeah? So the main story that's been dominating the UK press is the court case of Pirates of the Caribbean actor Johnny Depp and his ex-wife Aquaman actress Amber Heard. It was literally front page after front page. One absurd story after another. Yeah, you're watching, guy. You're, you're somebody you're that must dying. be watching you're pornography. Dying. Now don't get me wrong. Of course I want to hear that somebody took a dump inside Johnny's bed. But I just don't want to be hearing about it in the news. It's like when I fall ill and I go to the doctors. I don't want to hear that Messi's got a six toe whilst he's signing my prescription. My leg. Um, I don't think the operation was successful. The, I think... <laughs> I will send this in the mail. Next patient, Catherine. Yeah, but you I've healed know. him. He is cured. Just do what you're supposed to be. I'm, I'm vulnerable, mate. Yeah, I'm not well. I want you to help me, mate. So just ignore my problem. Prescribe me some painkillers. Tell me to have some bed rest and send me on my way. I call this paracetamol. Yep, paracetamol. Oh, is that gonna? That's be gonna solve it. That's just. That's gonna solve it. There we go. Has it worked? It's, it's well Let's not mess with the way nature has intended these things, yeah? And on social media, the affair of Will Smith's wife is the talk of the town. Day after day, that story is trending with one revelation after another. And of course, the mainstream media has jumped on that bandwagon as well. Yay! And might I add, ha! If they're not too busy reporting about Princess Diana's ghost, yeah? Because you know what? These are the main pressing issues that the United Kingdom is dealing with. Now I know what you guys are thinking. Maybe this has been a dry week, yeah? In British politics. But you know what? It actually hasn't. Yeah, let me give you three international stories that should be on the front page. The first being UK selling arms contributing to the bombing in Yemen. The second being UK and China's potential cyber warfare because of UK constantly interfering in Chinese politics. And the third being UK's problem with North Korea because they're applying sanctions by following the United States. And if those are three international stories, let's deal with three local stories here, not flipping Lady Diana's ghost. Like number one, you've got two political associates being done for paedophilia. One is a Labour, ex-Labour associate, and another one is a Conservative associate. So it don't matter which political party you follow, you get a pedo either way. That ain't a good thing, is it? <laughs> No, well. Number two, there was a story of a policeman being linked to a far-right terrorist organization and that then revealed hundreds of police officers who have broken the law and have still been accepted to be the protectors of our society, mate. And the third being the government lying about corona testing figures and of course still downplaying its inadequate response. Whether we like it or not, the media will continue force feeding us these celeb stories. Why? Because these stories actually provide a good distraction from the stuff that actually matters, like stories to do with education, our health, the economy, where once we had journalists like John Pilger who would write exposés and actually give us useful stories, we now have journalists that are pretty much illegitimate children of these politicians. And if we are too busy in these parasocial relationships, 
which is like a one-sided relationship where one person exerts all the energy and the other person doesn't even know they exist. Like people who follow these footballers or these celebrities where I mean you got posters and you've memorized the lines but I mean they don't even know that you exist. And of course it sells more papers. It's like a symbiotic relationship between the papers and the celebrities. The papers help the celebrities out and the celebrities help the papers out. And in 2013 there was a really good study done by Mina Sikara and she found out that people actually find joy and pleasure from hearing about the misery of successful people. So either way whether we like it or not these stories will continue and if you are to find stories that are actually useful to you you might have to dig a little deeper and not rely on mainstream news apps like Sky and BBC you'll have to delve in deeper and maybe have five six even international media outlets just so you have a complete picture. Alright guys let's leave it there until next time. Asalaamu As Alaikum